I've started to have breakfast at the moment, um, something that I never used to do. I just used to go for as long as possible without having anything to eat and then be famished by about 11, 12 o'clock. Whereas now I make it a point of having breakfast every morning so that it keeps me fuller for longer and you don't get all these cravings. If I can't eat, um, sit down for a meal, I keep a, a load of apples in the car so I can eat those when I'm driving. Um, always have an apple in the handbag. When I go out to eat in restaurants, I'm more aware of the menu and go for more of the healthier options than the deep fried things and have plain grilled steaks or plain fish and try and ask for salads without sauces, dressings. My bad habit, I guess, is chocolate, but um, I've got into the habit of not buying blocks of chocolate, just buying smaller bars and just having a small piece so I can still indulge my chocolate fad, but still lose weight and feel good about myself. I realised that when the kids were going to bed that was my really dangerous time because I was so, I'd be so stressed that I'd come straight down for putting them to bed, straight into the fridge, get wine and chocolate. And the way I broke the habit was changing where I sit in my living room. So now I no longer associate that time of day with sitting in my comfy chair with a wine on one side and my chocolate on the other. Another thing I learned that the way, the way to lose weight is not to starve yourself, it's just to watch the portions. And a good tip would be, for example, to have smaller plates, smaller glasses when you're drinking sodas, but big glass when you're drinking water. I've got into the habit now not having wine in the house. Just have a cheeky gin and tonic uh, with diet tonic and, and lasts longer and I don't get the urge to snack. I'm very aware during the week of what I eat, but then I feel like I can reward myself with going out on weekends and not feeling guilty about it all because I know that right after that I keep, keep on track again. When I first joined Weight Watchers as a member, it was a big effort for me to go to the gym. I uh, didn't like going to the gym, so I made sure I went to activity classes, different classes, got to know some of the people in the classes and therefore if I didn't go any week they would text me or phone me or Facebook me to say where the heck was I uh, and that really got me motivated. I first joined Weight Watchers when I was in my early 20s and um, I'm now in my mid 40s and I realised quite recently actually that I'd got into the habit of trying to get, always get back to that weight that I was in my mid 20s and actually I've flipped it around now and I've got into the habit of what I call acceptance and I've realised I'm a healthy weight for a middle aged woman and I'm quite happy with that now. <laughs>